Hello there, my fellow students, and welcome back to another episode in Two Point Campus, the Medical School DLC. Now, in this one, we are going to be getting the one star on the last map, which is called Pointy Peak. I'll let you in a little secret. I have played this one before. I started recording this, and one hour in, I went bankrupt. So I had to start the level again. So I'm restarting it. I'm rethinking my strategy, and the strategy what I'm going to go for now, in which I'm going to implement in the other two when we go for the three stars. So when we go back to here, Lake Tumble, I'm going to get rid of a course and same in Molten Rock I'm going to get rid of a course again so we're just going to focus on one course which is going to make it a hell of a lot easier for ourselves and same in this one because in this one it's all to do with surgery and the surgery is the doctors which is this one so we don't need no nurses so if we only have one course running we technically shouldn't be getting any patients coming in which will require the nurse so it should be all focused on the doctors so there's going to be three rooms instead of building six makes sense doesn't it so without further ado let's crack on telling you one of these days i'm going up that mountain and never coming down again life's different up there man slower colder nearer the sky all thanks to the yetis we have so much to learn from them Last visit, one of my Yeti friends showed me how to make a hat out of snow, and I'll always be thankful for that. All right, hello everyone. So, the Bigfoot Foundation, welcome to Pointy Peak, home to the clouds. Yetis and at frigid temperatures, life in Pointy Mountains is extremely beautiful, but it's also a beautiful extreme with countless sheer drops and absolutely zero medical facilities. So basically, we need radiators. So again, we've got the courses there, but we're going to have the medical school. We're not going to bother the nursing and student intake is 12 for now. So if we go manage courses and say goodbye to you lot. Yes, we're going to get not get that much money in, but we can concentrate on this, which is fantastic. So I'll confirm you, get rid of you there. So we need to build a surgery. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to delete all this because these are two separate rooms so we can sell you because we don't really need you at the moment and we shall sell you I thank you very much my friend I'm gonna do a little jump so I've got everything in place and we're gonna start the brand new year so I'll, I'll skip the boring parts out I normally do a time-lapse it's just gonna be a quick jump and then I will get back to you okay so after that quick jump there I've got the campus very basic up and running I've sort of furnished every single room out as well and made it semi okay so we've got the basics we've got the dormitory uh, the library uh, the staff room toilets and showers a little plaza area there so it's got some seats and telephones there for the entertainment and the food and drink with four surgeries now you're probably thinking why have you built four surgeries yes i've wasted 30 grand each because the cost well forty thousand pound each the cost 13 39,860. these get busy very very busy so since we're going to concentrate on the doctors we're going to be needing the head clinic as well so hopefully we can sort of get the money for that so let's start the brand new year this is what my campus looks like the attractiveness is good in every single room apart from the outsides i'll work on that once i get money so as you can see there, I've only got £157 left. Temperature wise, is it's okay. It's comfortable. So no one should be complaining about that. So let's start the brand new year. So medical school, we are not taking any people in the nursing. So we're going to manage courses. So medical school is a maximum of six at the moment until we upgrade it. And the only rooms we're only going to be concentrating on is the head clinic, psychiatry and surgery. Well, let's come off you. So we're going to start the brand new year. Hopefully we can delete that. Well, we can't delete it. I don't know why it's got that on. We're going to be losing profit at this very, very start because of the wages of our members of staff. So let's speed this up. So this one's all about surgery. So the more surgery rooms we have, the better. And we need to concentrate on research as well because this one's all about research and surgery. So we need to keep an eye out on them. Right, so are these. So we've got these students coming in. Come on, we need some money, guys. We need some patients. So the patients come in from this cable car and the cable car, as you can see there, is very well engineered. They are floating in the air, as you can see. As you can see there, we're not getting no tuition fees. We're not getting no rent fees. We're not getting no experience bonus. And we're not, well, I would say we're not getting any uh, treating patients, but we haven't treated any patients yet. 
So that's the only way we're getting money is by doing these fundings here. You get between like £40,000 and sixty. As you can see there, this one's bronze, so this is like pretty easy. And then you have bronze, silver and gold. So the higher the, the bronze, silver and gold is, then the more money you're going to get. But the main thing is you're getting the most money off treating the patients and the cure rate as well. So you can see here we've got our first two patients with, what is it, Bigfoot or Bodily Druids. So as you can see there, he's walking and he's got like grass growing under, underneath him like a druid, like nature. What's happened to you? You dead? Right. So you're dead. We need a, a ghost capture person. Unfortunately, oh, we've got one there. You're 25,000 pounds. I don't want to buy you. Get rid of you. There we go, we've got Bigfoot challenge. We've got 50,000 pounds there. So let's start grabbing a ghost capture. Nice, you move faster than others as well, so that's pretty good. So for the one star, here it is. A Q rate of 60%, and we need to level up 100 students, complete five research projects, and earn 250,000 pounds. Research is gonna be a problem. Well, it's not a problem, but it's gonna cost quite a bit to do research. Right, so I've let the game run. We're still making minus money, but I think what I might do, I've took a loan out so I could build the medical office and also pastoral support, but I haven't got a person to go in there. We just gained 45,000 pounds for completing a challenge, which is fantastic. So what I'm gonna do, pause the game. Since we've got 31,000 pounds, let's get this pastoral support person in, which we can't do yet, but we do need a teacher. So we're gonna have one teacher there what i'm gonna have is we're starting getting these people and now uh, psychiatry people so if we start building a psychiatrist it's gonna cost us 17 we can build a psychiatry here i think or should we build one over there it's gonna get busy over here so we'll get get a psychiatry room here just so it's like out the way it's not gonna be like the best uh we'll build one of them and make sure it has window as well very very basics uh we're gonna need to build one of them we we'll put a bin in so we've got one thousand pounds left putting a poster no we won't how much is that poster 100 pounds i'm just going to use my favorite trusty painting which costs 50. so put one there one there four in each corner That'll do. Uh, bench, how much a bench is? 300 pounds. Great. Pick you up, put you there. Can we buy anything else? We've got a bin. Might as well put a, a bin there. I've got a bin, where have you been? I've put a vendor machine there, I think. So it's out of the way. Right, so we've got zero money again. At least we've got the psychiatry now, so there's an another room. And we do have a teacher going in there. We've got three doctors now, but the problem is we still need a pastoral support teacher as well. What I can do, I can probably... Can you shut this down? I don't think you can, can you? No, I thought you could pause the room. Oh, close room. Uh, so we'll close that room off. So we've got a big foot personality here, which is satisfy three personal goals. So we need two more. So profit wise, we need to make 19 grand. Basically, we, to cover our expenses, we need to make at least 30K by treating patients and doing these funding goals. It's a pretty tough one, this one. I must be doing something like wrong. Yeah, fair enough, you got the goals, but I haven't expanded out that much because I, I've basically put every single class in what we actually need and they're very basic. Yeah, fair enough, I've furnished them out pretty good, but that's not going to affect money-wise. The reason why we're not getting money is because of staff wages, really. Because if I get rid of these, if I sell these for 40k each, yeah, that's fair enough. But I'm going to be losing all this money, what I'm not going to be generating. Right, so I've just completed another a Bigfoot funding. We've got 30k there, but that's not going to really do much there. We need to earn £1,000 from our vendor machines, which should be pretty straightforward. I've got uh, another emergency, so I don't know if that's going to work. View the rewards. We don't want to do that. Uh, manage the cost. We can upgrade the cost now, so we're getting more students, which is fantastic. 14 students. Apply and confirm. Start the brand new year. 
I'm going to try and get all these people who need the emergencies prioritized. It should do that automatically, I think. Anyone who's in an emergency should get prioritized. So the one star is halfway done. The surgery cure rate is going up and down all the time. And then we need to concentrate on the research points, but we're not going to be having that just yet because we need to basically have money to do that. So it's just staff wages. I can't really sack any more members of staff because I'm on like the, the very edge of staff. So I've got four medical staff to do our surgeries. And then, well, I've got five members of staff to actually do the treatments and then I've got two janitors one to do maintenance and one to capture the ghosts and then I've got two assistants one in the medical office which is getting used all a lot all the time and one in the library now this one needs a head clinic we can't afford a head clinic I'm afraid I don't know how these emergencies work because for some reason they've been pushed back to like Q position six. Okay, so I've just done some alterations to the campus. I've extended it slightly and added in a new surgery. Copied and pasted, so I've spent another 40K there because I've took out the 250,000 pound loan. As you can see there, I repaid this one back and then I did repay the 50 back, but then I got that back out uh, because I've also built a research lab, which we need. And also, I have built the Nogging Napper. So we have covered every single bit of the courses now, so we can cure every single one. Right, so the psychiatry needs a bookcase, so we'll have you there. Hopefully we can start getting some of these in. A stethoscope, which can go just there. And a skeleton display, which can possibly go there. A medical flasks. Yes, I feel as though we might be getting somewhere. I do not know. I've added some entertainments over here as well. I put some medical flasks just there. So with everything in place now, I'm hoping we can start to see the treatment of patients going up. Now, the loan repayments is going to be pretty bad because I've got two loans, which I can't really pay off. Nice. So we just got 90k there for the funding complete 10 janitor jobs that's going to be pretty easy so with this 90k if we pause it we've got loads more people in surgery <laughs> look at them all how much is this this is going to be 40 that's going to be 30 for a for this space right i'm trying to think do i spend 30k and then start expanding and get a student union so everyone's going to be happy because student happiness is bad so oh i don't know because we can't really put in another a surgery can we unless we can put one over here we'll buy this plot of land and see what happens expand it slowly we've only got 26 k left so we're not really we need to build what the friggin hell's that <laughs> a tunnel of love yeah, we ain't going to be doing that, my friends. Pause it. Oh, let it go in slow motion. Let's extend this out slowly. So let's say that we wanted to add in two more surgeries. So that's one, two, three, four. There's one surgery. One, two, three, four. Is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine. Okay, that's fine. Should we extend it across here? This is going to cost us 46 grand just for that. Let's get some more surgeries going so you're gonna cost 40 that's fine build this right across might as well build it across here as well i think we should just build a student lounge for now just so they've got somewhere to go it's not going to be the best but at least they've got somewhere to go then we're going to get some of these fundings so hopefully we can get this surgery patient done there we go i right, pause you Bodily fluids has been 20% upgraded. So now what we can do, I think we can do um, heart throb. Start you. We've just got another fund in there. That's 50k back in the bank. I'm going to pick up this medical office and put it there. Just because of the fact we can have this coming around now. So people can come around here. So Bigfoot challenges give us 45k. That's not too bad. The next one is level up five students. That's pretty easy to do. Right, pause it, because we have just done this. Start a new project. Uh, we'll have brain farts. 
Brain fart, oh my god. Right, our money seems to be going very good now. I know you might be thinking, well, yeah, you're not making no profit. If we repay the, them loans off, we are making profit. If we can keep our patients' money up to around, what, 40k, then that's going to pay for the staff wages. So at the moment, our loans are killing us, so we need to, like, concentrate on that. So this one's got 27, which is not too bad. This one's got 185. So we'll keep an eye out on that. What the hell? This research project is absolutely taking off. Look at all these here. That's why we need a lot of researchers, I think, and get all this. I am going to do training. Now, this is going to cost a fortune, but it needs to be done. Hopefully, I can start getting some people in here. I upgrade you. Fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully, this small investment, press the wrong button, of the training room is going to be worth it. So, research is just the main priority now for the one star. If we look there, we have got three out of five, and we've got some easy money income here. We've got cure seven patients, which is going to be good, and also generate 200 research points. Luckily, we do not need anyone in here. Well, we do need someone in there, but I haven't got a project, so he's actually making research points, which is good. I do want to try and focus on members of staff. The happiness in our students, it's been a bit terrible, to be fair. Once we get that initial bit where we can get about 60-70% cure rate, we're going to be good, because we look at our patients there. It's not too bad. We've just got another £45,000 there for doing the research there which is good come on one more student there we go oh no we didn't we didn't get it yet 50k right pause bang check the loans so we can take this out and repay that off which i'm going to do there we go so we've got twenty-seven thousand pounds to play with right what's this a coffee kiosk and a tulip let's put this tulip outside just there what do we need Training, I'm going to spend this 27k on training. Tell you what, we'll do a research and we'll do heartthrob. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, the end of the year is just approaching. And can we upgrade this course yet? Yeah, we can't. We need 10 more course points. How long is this course anyway? Is it three years? Yeah, it's three years. So I've just got a, like a big injection of money because I've been doing these fundings. And all I've done is I've extended the campus up to here. I've moved the medical facility, which was in this little gap here, and I've placed it in there as well. So all that's full now. I've just moved everything what I had in there, like these vendor machines. And also I've built a student union now. I'm going to concentrate on getting a stage. So there's a teacher in here getting trained, which is good. So we're going to get some more treatment power. Excellent. Another 10%. I've also started a new research project as well. So this is going to either get us the one star as soon as this is done. It depends on, our, on the cure rate. 40 students to attend a campus party event. Well, we can't really do that yet. Right, so the one star is in sight. This video as the raw recording without no edits. This is just over the two hour mark. <laughs> so hopefully we can get this. 55. Oh, there's no one in these. So we've got one in there. Okay, we'll cure our surgery cure. I was going to say cure is going to be these. I presume this staff, the four members of staff which I've got, aren't actually doing anything because they're in... Ah, oh, we've got one. One in there getting trained. Oh, well. We did it. Yes. Finally. Two hours to get that bloody one star. Flipping like So there's Pointy Peak one star. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please remember to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment as well to let me know you've enjoyed it. If you've got any tips and tricks, then let me know. And thank you for watching. And I shall see you all in the next one.